What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. In today's video, we are going to cover all of the war paints that apply buffs. Now these are war paints that are going to give you an additional three points to your attributes. We are not going to cover any of the decorative war paints. If you want to see the styles of all the decorative war paints, I'm actually going to link a very good video by Pixel Cave in the description of this video. So you can get over there, check them out, give them some support. Now there are seven different war paints that you can apply and they are seven because there are seven different attributes. Now, if we take, say, the first one and equip that, and then we look back at our attributes, you can see it gives us an additional three in that attribute. Now, all war paints are stackable with buffs from fish or potions. So if we ate all these fish that I have in my inventory and we go back into my attributes, you can see that now strength is six and if i applied a different war paint you would see it would be six now you cannot have more than one war paint at a time so if you apply a different war paint it is going to move those points to another place and i'll show you that now so if we apply the war paint of agility it takes the points away from strength and applies them to agility so let's take a quick look at what each one of these war paints looks like on a male and female thrall. This is the strength war paint. This is agility. This is vitality. This is accuracy. This is grit. This is support or encumbrance. This is determination or survival. Again, if you want a deeper look at what all the war paints look like, including the ones that I showed here today, click the link in the description to go over and see Pixel Cave's very well done video on war paints. Now, before we go inside and I show you the recipes for these things and the feats that you're going to need to unlock them, what I want to talk to you about is the durability. Now, the durability doesn't actually equate to durability when you apply it in the sense of how we understand it for armor or how we understand it for tools and weapons. The durability for war paint is simply an amount of time. So 3600 durability on a buff war paint is actually one hour. It translates into 3600 seconds which is one hour of time in the game and that timer doesn't start until you apply the war paint for the decorative war paints they have a durability of 14,400 and that is 14,400 seconds so they have a durability or a timer of a total of four hours and I'm going to give a big shout out to my buddy Hosev for helping me out in understanding what the durability for each of these war paints actually meant. He and I jumped in the dev kit and kind of broke it all down and figured it out. Now, if you're not familiar with who Hosev is, he's the one that created the UI mod that you see on most of my videos. And there's a link to the video covering his UI mod in the description of this video. One other item you should know about is the sleuthing agent. If you just want to rid yourself of the war paint that you're wearing without removing your bracelet or anything like that, you can use this sleuthing agent and that's going to remove your war paint. You can also use the sleuthing agent on your thralls should you want to remove their war paint. Additionally, I should note that thralls wearing buff war paint do actually receive the buffs to their attributes as well. As you can see, this Dina Master Huntress has an additional three in strength. 
And if we use the sleuthing agent to remove her war paint and go back in just to double check, you can see that additional buff has been removed. Now you're going to find the feet for war paint under armor. If you scroll all the way down, you can see the first thing is decorative war paints and it requires you to know the fireball cauldron and you can unlock that at level 22. In order to be able to make the buff war paints, you need to be level 42. There are also some other items that you need to learn, such as the furniture maker so that you can make the papyrus scroll, and the die maker in case you want to make your own dies. Now, the dies can be found in the world, but once you get into making war paint, you're probably going to want to learn this anyway. Now, if we look at our Fireball Cauldron, you can see I've already loaded it up with the ink brush, the papyrus scroll, some dyes, and yes, dragon powder. Now, each one of the buff war paints requires dragon powder. So I definitely recommend having a tier 4 thrall on your Fireball Cauldron because if we take the thrall off the Fireball Cauldron and we look back at that war paint, you can see it actually costs two dragon powder to make a war paint, which is rather expensive in the grand scheme of things. And these war paints can be made on either of the Fireball Cauldrons. Now my favorite two war paints to use are going to be the strength and the grit because I feel like if you lose the war paint and you have a little bit less grit, it's not as big of a deal. And the same for strength. If you lose the war paint and have a little bit less strength, it's not as big of a deal as if you lost it in vitality and you weren't passively healing or if you lost it in encumbrance and you were then over encumbered. The other areas I really don't worry about as much as far as agility or survival, accuracy, those things don't make a difference as much in my gameplay style. So those are the areas and the ones that I use. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. I'll catch you next time. Peace. I'd like to give a big shout out to all my YouTube members and Twitch subscribers. Y'all are absolute legends. I'd like to thank everyone for their continued support, likes, comments, and general awesomeness. If you're not subscribed, you could start your free trial today and cancel at any time. Clicking the bell is highly recommended so you get notified on my next upload. There's a couple of videos on the screen. You can follow me over there to continue the conversation.